Welcome everyone to another edition of Coffee with Father James. I got my Scottish mug here today. I'm feeling very Scottish. It must be it must be the rain, the drizzle, uh, the cloudy weather. Uh, perhaps that's why I feel Scottish today. And we'd say it's a drikit, a drikit day. That's what we would say in Scotland. Drikit. So Google Google that one. See what you get. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I have a list of things to talk about. And the first one, obviously, is lockdown. Lockdown. And I was thinking a little bit about it. You know, you know so often in life, we, 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 we think of ourselves as being very rational people, you know. Um, we, we reason things. We, we act out of our thoughts. We think and we act. You know, most of us, most of the time, we feel and we act. That's the truth of it. We, we, we react often uh, based out of actually our feelings and not our thoughts. And obviously, it's both. But I think sometimes, you know, you, know, you can ask the question, what do you think or what do you feel? And I, and I think the feeling thing is really, really important, especially at times like, like this. So I'm, I find myself in a bit of um, maybe it's just the dicket weather. But uh, I'm, I'm finding um, a bit, I don't know, down today. You know, I'm walking around the office and where we normally have volunteers, there's no one there. There's, there's the, the, the busy office is fairly quiet. You know, we, we've got staff up, up in the, the parish center as well. So we are spread out to, to minimize the contact. But we only can have a limit of five people. Um, you know, mass yesterday, there was only a, a few people. Uh, it, and it... Besides all that, not seeing the usual energy and and it it feels like we're all feeling it. It's like a step backwards, right? A step backwards, and we all wonder: Are we going to see the end of this? You know, and and of course, any time we're we're dealing with this stuff, we we got to stop right away and realize: Okay, that these this is complicated. There's a lot of emotions here. And I think we need to step back a little bit and just remind ourselves about the why, right? That's that's very very important. Remind ourselves of the why, and I do think our, our civic leaders have been have done a great job thus far in terms of paying close attention and taking the necessary action when they have in order to stop the uh, the, the the spread from continuing. So, a few more weeks of this kind of lockdown, and I think a few more months, and this is going to pass. You know, so we need to. Anytime you're in a period of difficulty, we need to constantly tell ourselves this too shall pass. It's going to pass. And we anticipate uh, the future as well. And remember uh, that any time we experience this kind of inconvenience or the pain of it, again, reminding ourselves of the why, it's so that we can protect one another. We've seen how easily this, this virus and its variants can, can spread. You know, we can be, they can spread even from uh, people who are asymptomatic. Um, so, um, we've got to be we've got to be smart so thanks for your patience with all of this and and we're simply going to ask you to continue to pray uh, please pray for uh, the parish the mission and the important work that we've got to do and uh, still do in in the in these in these months ahead um, a couple of things are continuing uh, we are continuing with our alpha taster this coming Monday and you know, I just want to say this, if you didn't sign up to Alpha, I, why don't you think about signing up? You know, because I think experiences like this remind us of our need for for, for connection, uh, for meaningful connection. And we can discover a new way of connecting, a new way of being church, even during the lockdown, even during this pandemic. And I think there are so many things that we've, we've changed, so many ways in which we've changed as a culture and a society in these months, in this past year, that... There's no going back. I mean, a lot of the ways we do things now, we're, we're going to continue to do them in, in that way. So so if the, the thought of, you know, doing an online alpha was like, no, I could never do that. Why don't you consider, why don't you even come out for one week and give it a try? So visit our webpage and sign up. Our next night is uh, next Monday night on May 3rd. If you need some tech support, just contact the office and we'll be happy to try to help you. Um, Last week, we talked about the reopening of two of our locations, Immaculate Conception and St. Paul's location would be next week. Obviously, that's not going to happen because uh, we can't have mass. <laughs> so we're going to have to wait till all this is over. And as soon as we are able to have public masses again, 
uh, with limited attendance, we will, as soon as possible, as promised, reopen those two locations to have a celebration of the Eucharist. Um, however, in the meantime, we have, we're going to be doing Sunday Mass at 11 a.m. We're going to rotate the musical styles at Sunday Mass. So this past weekend, we had the, we had the 11 a.m. band. This coming uh, weekend, Mass at 11 a.m. Uh, so the live stream will be at the same time. But we're going to have the music ministry from the 9 a.m. Uh, mass. And we'll, we'll just rotate that out. Also, starting this week, we're going to have a weekday Mass uh, at 9 a.m. So we're going to try we're going to try that out and have for now one live streamed weekday mass uh, each week. Office hours again we we've got to limit the you know the the, the number of people around the office so uh, we've had to basically put a, a pause on the wonderful all the wonderful volunteers who helped us and boy oh boy I'll tell you just just have going having going gone through two days without you here man we miss you we so miss you because the phones are busy the door can still be a bit busy and you know so we're trying to handle that plus do all the other stuff that we've got to do and so we definitely miss you so for that reason we we're limiting the the public availability of the office from from 10 a.m to 2 p.m and the, the reason for that is because in addition to handling phones and doors we've the the staff we we still have uh, deadlines that don't go away. We've still got all of our other work to do. So thanks for your understanding on that. And we look forward to welcoming back our wonderful volunteers. So Vincent DePaul, you know, it's one of the, I said this in a previous video about the incredible work done by St. Vincent DePaul, but you know, there's, there's a great history of, of that ministry in, 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 in this parish and a lot of incredibly generous people. And we're seeing that because we have a lot of traffic of, food, of of people dropping off food for the food bank, the little little food bank that we have here on site in the St. Vincent de Paul office. People have asked us, are we still delivering food to families? Is that still happening? Yes, it is. So you can, if you have food to drop off, you can drop it off on Mondays from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. downstairs at the at the entrance to the to the little mini food bank we have. And then outside of that, during the office hours from 10 to 2 p.m. Um, and St. Vincent de Paul is, is going out to families and needs to, on our behalf, to, to help them. So that's about all I have today. Again, thanks for your patience. Please, uh, please join us online. Make, make an effort to join us. And, and please share this video. In fact, you know, I, I, every week I keep reminding myself, I've got to... I've got to invite people to subscribe. You see that little that little bell button down there? Just just click it if you haven't already done so. And what that what happens is that you will receive a notification whenever Brad releases a new video, you get a little well you it can ding if you want. It doesn't have to ding, uh, but you'll get a little notification saying that hey, there's a new video. Uh, it's just uh, very helpful. So please subscribe and also share. I think maybe is there anyone you can you can share this video with? Uh, that'd be very helpful. Let's get the word out there. So thanks, everyone. My coffee may have gone cold a little bit. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time on Coffee with Father James.